spiritually inspired, empowering mystics to embrace their divine truth through crystal healing, mindfulness, and ascension. My name is Sarah Ray, and I am so happy you're here with me today. Does it get super freaking cold where you live? Same, like really cold and icy, especially when we're all experiencing a polar vortex in the United States. It's not exactly ideal weather for traditional earthing practices, but that doesn't mean that we have to be disconnected from nature during the winter months. Today, we are going to talk about getting grounded in winter. So first, I just wanted to touch on what grounding is and why it's important. So grounding is all about electricity. Free electrons flow through all living things here on Earth. Our entire planet conducts natural electric signals that correct health imbalances in our bodies. Their energy is generated deep within the Earth's core, then brought to the surface through solar radiation, lightning strikes, and other natural causes that occur all over the place all the time. So as a result, there's an abundance of free electrons readily available to everyone and everything. So wherever there is natural ground or other conductive elements, we have the opportunity to absorb these free electrons through our skin into our bodies. Clint Ober, the author of Earthing, says the natural frequencies of the Earth that we speak are waves of energy caused by the motions of subatomic particles called free electrons. We all live and function electrically on an electrical planet. The fact is all your movements, behaviors, and actions are energized by electricity. So in short, when we ground ourselves, we are restoring this flow of free electrons in our bodies. This brings us closer to nature, which is actually what grounding is all about. It is reconnecting with the natural energies of our home planet so that we may feel aligned, balanced, and happy. So typically, the act of grounding or earthing involves walking barefoot on soil, sand, grass, or even concrete. I believe this is one of the reasons why everyone seems to be extremely happy during the summertime. We spend so much time outside, and especially barefoot, that we end up grounding ourselves and reconnecting with nature effortlessly. But for most of us, walking barefoot outside isn't possible year-round. So here are seven ways you can stay grounded in winter when you can't walk barefoot outside. Number one, go outside anyway. Didn't see that one coming, did ya? <laughs> so just learn to love embracing the cold of the winter. Even during the winter, I always make an effort to spend time outside and breathe fresh air every day. It may be cold, but it's worth it. But really, I've grown to love spending time outside in the snow. If you dread winters, consider opening yourself up a little bit and learn how to embrace the cold. You might actually surprise yourself. Five minutes is all it takes. Depending on the temperature outside, just bundle up and go for a walk midday if you can. You don't need to take your boots off to connect with nature. Just fill your lungs with fresh air, hug a tree or two, make some snow angels, Pick up a winter sport maybe, or snuggle up on the porch with a hot beverage. I think the only exception for me not going outside during the winter is during this ridiculous polar vortex that has been happening the past week. If you're in the United States, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was literally negative 60 degrees outside and it was terrible. And that was probably the only time I've gone a full 48 hours without purposely going outside to ground myself. So maybe in that sort of extreme, you don't go outside. But in general, the winter is pretty bearable, especially if you live somewhere like I do, where it does get warm occasionally during the winter. Number two, keep beautiful houseplants. I'll admit it, I am a crazy plant lady. I'm also a crazy cat lady and a crazy crystal lady, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> I am just obsessed with bringing the outside in with houseplants. It makes our home so much more inviting and watching plants grow is very rewarding. Keeping houseplants helps you to stay grounded in the winter because of the soil, leaves, and air purifying qualities. Taking care of houseplants sometimes requires you to dig in the dirt, which can help you connect with nature while staying inside. Because that is still nature that's still part of Mother Earth, and you can still put your hands in it. 
Plus, some plants thrive during the winter months. Every year, I have several plants that bloom gorgeous flowers throughout December, January, and even February. It brightens my winter life. Number three, tree visualization during meditation. When you sit down to meditate, imagine your spine is like the trunk of a big 100 year old tree. Its roots reach down far past your seat and deep into the earth. Its branches reach far above your head and into the heavens. Even if you live on the top floor of a building like I do, this tree visualization is excellent for grounding your energy. If you would like to try my free tree grounding meditation, just sign up for my email list using the link in the description below. You'll instantly get my five minute grounding meditation that is perfect for winter time. Number four, work with dark colored crystals. Crystals are excellent for grounding energy. Just pick your favorite root chakra crystal to wear or work with during the winter. The root chakra is the energy center that helps us feel grounded in the first place. Here's a short list of grounding crystals that are readily available and you probably already have at least one of these. Black tourmaline, garnet, smoky quartz, red jasper, red calcite, onyx, jet, hematite, shungite, bloodstone, and there are many more. <laughs> Just work with these dark colored crystals to ground your energy along with your guided meditation. Number five, eat lots of yummy vegetables. Vegetables are really good at rooting energy in our bodies because of how they grow in the earth, especially root vegetables. Foods like onions, garlic, yams, beets, parsnips, turnips, carrots, artichokes, radishes, ginger, potatoes, celery, all these are really good at balancing your root chakra and grounding your energy in your actual body. They are hearty and filling. Two things you want out of your food in the winter when you want to feel more grounded. And some of the most popular and tasty vegetables thrive during the winter time. So go chow down and get grounded. Number six, take good care of your feet. Pedicure anybody? A really simple way to stay grounded in winter is to pamper your feet. We all think to do this in the summertime when we're barefoot all the time, but we tend to lose interest in the winter when socks take over. If you stick with your normal pedicure, lotion, foot rub, nail polish, what have you routine, you'll naturally feel more grounded. There are many chakras in and between your feet, so work with this energy in the winter even if no one else cares if your feet are pretty right now. And there's a bonus, because when summer eventually does come around, your feet will still be pretty. Number seven, affirm that you are grounded. This is by far the easiest way to stay grounded all year round. If you're constantly telling yourself, I'm not grounded, then you will not be grounded. Instead, replace those thoughts with the mantra, I am grounded and connected with Mother Earth or just pick any root chakra affirmation that resonates with you right now. And mantras pair really well with crystal energy. So once you select your crystal and your mantra, just work with their energy every single day, perhaps even during your meditation. Several of these are things you can do all at once. Like you could go for a walk outside, which is a form of meditation. You could be near nature. You can have crystals in your pocket and you can say your grounding affirmation you could even be chowing down on a vegetable if you wanted all at once. So you don't have to spend so much time outside maybe during the winter if it is really cold where you are. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you feel inspired to try something new to ground your energy this winter. Please share with me in the comments below what your favorite way to stay grounded inside is. And if you'd like to sign up for my email list to get that free grounding meditation I mentioned earlier, just use the link in the description below. Please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. Your support is greatly appreciated. I absolutely love what I do and I love making this content for you. So thank you very much for enjoying it. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and namaste.